Over the last few days, I've been seeing a story pop up on the media and on social media about a chap in Essex who had £12,000 worth of bikes stolen from his garage. Now, apparently, the thieves targeted him because he was posting some fairly fast times on Strava. Now, this can be avoided by simply looking at your privacy settings on Strava. And in this film, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Setting and checking your privacy settings in Strava is incredibly easy. And with any luck, it will help you avoid any unfortunate uh, incidents. So to do this, you, all you need to do is open up Strava and go to your profile page. And the way you do that is come up to your icon here, scroll down to settings, and that brings up your profile page. And I have mine all blanked out for obvious reasons. And then scroll your mouse over to privacy here on the left hand side, click that. And that brings up the options that you can have. So you need to have this little button checked here. And then once you do that, these options will become available. So you can make all of your activities private by default, if you so choose. You can prevent your activities from showing up on Strava flybys. You can hide segments and challenge leaderboards. And you can uh, set it so that only your followers and athletes you follow can see that you are part of a group activity. You can also hide your training log from other athletes. So if you scroll down, you can find the bit where you can hide your house or office or indeed any other location from your activity maps. And the way you do that is you enter the postcode here. Uh, and for the purposes of this film, I'm going to enter the postcode of the Look Mum No Hands Cafe in London. So that is EC1V9HX. And then select the radius. So I'm going to select 1,000 meters or 1,000 or a one kilometer, and then just click Create Privacy Zone. And then if we scroll down again, you can see at the bottom here is the new location and anything that any of your activities that start within or uh, end within that uh, little zone here outlined. Uh, will be private to anybody on Strava except yourself. It's also possible to check your privacy settings on the smartphone app. So to do that, again, you need to open up Strava, come down to the bottom right-hand corner here to More, come up to Settings, and click Privacy. And again, you have all of the options that you have on the desktop site. And if you come to Privacy Zones, click there. And that will take you to this page where all of your Privacy Zones are listed. And of course, mine are all now blanked out for obvious reasons. But if you would like to add another Privacy Zone or even add the first one, just click this little plus icon at the top here add the address, and again, we'll use Look Mum No Hands, which is EC1V9HX. Set the radius, one kilometer, click Add. Privacy Zone has been added. And now let's scroll down. And there you go, you can see that the same area has also been made private. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.